Hey everyone, so lead code practice time again. So two things, find solution for this specific question. The other thing, how to solve this problem in a real interview. So let's take a look at the question. It's called add strings. See, okay, so Facebook is a top company that uses this question interview. So given two non-active integers, num one and two, represent it as string. Okay, represent it as string. Return the sum of num1 and num2. Alrighty, so in the note it says both num1 and num2 contains digit from 0 to 9 and no leading 0 and uh, the length of num1 and num2 are both smaller than 5100 and uh, you must you mustn't use any built-in big in library. Okay, I see what this problem is asking about. So um, actually, not too much to clarify because it's very clear. And Ash case, I would say not either uh, because it says no leading zero. Um, but if there is, I would say if number one, it, what if one of the input string is empty so if it is empty then I would say return if num1 is empty return num2 if num2 is empty return num1 so that, that that's it and for the solution part not much to to think about it's if this question is asked it's more about testing your coding ability okay so let's directly jump into the coding part. So like we said, first of all, check the ash case. If num1.lens um, is equal to zero, then we return num1 is equal to zero. Then we return num2. And if num2.lens is equal to zero, then we return num1. And we need to define uh, a carry bit, which is zero, and initialize zero used in the in the next step. And we also define p1 and p2. So p1 is a pointer um, which digit we are looking at in uh, nums one string. And it is initialized as the last uh, character indexed to the last character of num1. So the reason is um, since the number are represented as string, when we look at the last character of a string, we are actually looking at uh, the first bit of the, the, the number. So that's essentially how we do the little add up when we learn in elementary school or kindergarten. So in this while loop, um, we are going to mimic how we do the add up in the kindergarten. So if p1, uh, so while p1 is larger or equal to zero, or p2 is larger or equal to zero, um, okay, so we actually need to define a string builder here to keep record of the temporary um, add up value. So let's say the re as new string builder. Um, or we can just call it temp result or, or just temp. Doesn't really matter too much. Um, so first of all, we are going to get the actual digit from it. Let's say digit one is equal to, if P1 is not out of range, then we definitely need to return num one dot car at P1 minus the, the one minus character zero. Otherwise, it is zero and uh, it's the same here we do the digit when we compute the digit two if p2 is larger or equal to zero and it's num2 dot car at uh, p2 minus uh, 
zero, otherwise it, we give it a zero. Okay, so for how to say the current digit. So the current digit we are going to compute is, we need to add up carry digit one and the digit two together and uh, modular 10. And uh, to compute the carry bit, uh, it is carry plus digit one plus digit two and divide by 10. Okay, and we are going to append the temporary current digit to temp. Let's say it's append uh, current digit. All right, so at the end of swallow loop, if the car if carry is larger than zero, that's the time to append carry. Time dot append carry, and uh, we are going to return um, the reverse order the reversed temp as a string finally all right so i think that's pretty much it let's give it a shot okay so compile arrow uh, why there is compile arrow okay so, sorry i think we still need to move p1 and p2 at this moment uh okay mm. It says, oh, okay, sorry. Uh, it should be a colon. Okay, so now you're good. And let's submit this piece of code. All right, so it's good. Um, and that's it for this coding question. As I said, uh, not too much about finding a solution, but more about testing your coding ability. So for the testing part, uh, like I said, some task case, uh, Ash task case setup, and also some regular case setup, uh, or maybe there is something more to consider, maybe something like this two zeros to be added up together. Um, except that we should be good about the task coverage setup. Um, so that's it for this coding question. Um, please give me some, some love if you like this video. And uh, I'll see you in the next moment. Thanks for watching.